how to make automated area measurements using time-lapse photos in ImageJ. First, you want to import your images. I used a Wingscape's time-lapse camera. It's a cheap time-lapse camera, less than $100, but it can do the job. And for this tutorial, I'm using a short series of 12 images. You simply drag and drop them into the ImageJ drop bar. It might take a couple minutes for them to all download. Next, you want to set the images to a stack. You can do this by going to Image, Stacks, Image to Stack. Next, you want to set the scale. And you do this by selecting the Line tool. Now, I know these pots are 2 inches wide. And in your image, you want to have something that you know the length of. And then you go to Analyze, Set Scale. And this line is 2 inches. And now that you've set the scale, you want to crop. So you select the Selection Tool, Rectangle Selection Tool, and you crop. And the reason I'm only using one plant in the photo is it will make the output of the data more easy to understand um, or else it can get a little bit confusing and now you want to convert the image into an 8-bit type so you go to image type 8-bit and next you want to convert the image into a binary image and you do this by going to process binary make binary and you can allow image J to do auto thresholds for you However, um, the reason this image looks like this is because I use perlite in the growing medium, and when auto-thresholding, image J cannot distinguish between perlite and leaves. So I wouldn't suggest using perlite or light-colored material in your growing medium. I didn't have the time to refilm, but if I did, that's what I would have done. Next, you want to go to Analyze, Analyze Particles, and select the minimum size for the area selected. I selected 2500 um, pixels squared. I only figured that out by experimenting, and you'll be able to figure it out once you start seeing your data output and maybe you want to experiment around and then I selected uh, for it to output outline and display results and then this is what you get the picture is the area selected um, you can tell is affected a little bit by the perlite and behind this new stack of outlines is a data table with the area in each image Good luck and leave any questions you have in the comments. Thanks.